Well, hello. It's just me today. Uh, what I'm here to do is close out the 2023 Counter Charge Mantic Army Slow Grow Challenge. Uh, that is a mouthful. And to get us started, I just as a reminder, I wanted to share, you know, this pin post that we have on our Counter Charge Facebook page where we detail out what we were doing. And you know, essentially, if you follow all these rules, uh, at the end of December we found ourselves with 22 people that had completed the challenge. And then from there, we detailed out there are three major awards, right? And let's go over them so that, that everybody remembers. We'll start from the bottom top. So there's the best army, which is you guys saw the pin post where it was a poll and it had the 22 names. And we asked the, the various participants to share, uh, create a post that had lots of pictures of their army so you could really see it, visualize it, immerse yourself in it and <clears throat> excuse me um yeah that was great and that that's been concluded and we'll chat about the results of that a uh, large army again that is one of the 22 people that made it to the finish line and it's you know we have this rubric i should close this out we have this rubric up here right so as you were painting units we were judging or we were adding up points right we were adding up points and the person with the most points per the rubric they're the winner so that's pretty it's pretty cool uh and then the best award and we said we'll save it for the last is the major award uh and it is essentially a table uh with all the terrain and uh the only thing the winner has to contribute to is they've got to come up with some ideas and they got to work with me to to develop it so all right well with that let's get into our first award and we'll start with um I guess we're going to start with the largest army award. And this one was a runaway train. So I've pulled up Scott Sally. Congratulations. You are the largest army out of the challenge. Look at this list of units. It is ridiculous. And what makes it more ridiculous is when you actually look at the, the army in totality. Um, I stopped counting at 180 points, guys. I think second place, you know, I don't know. It was it was well over 100, but not 180. So uh, it was insane, um, Scott. Uh, hats off to you, sir. Um, I don't know how you have time to do anything else. Uh, not only do you have a metric ton of units, almost all of them are full model count. So uh, I will say, cheeky in that he did paint a lot of individuals to really contribute to that, uh, to, to, to his score effectively. So huge congratulations to Scott uh, for that big, big victory. All right. So I will be reaching out to you, Scott, to get your email address, and we will get your $100 gift card over to you. All right. Next up, we've got the poll. And you can see congratulations to Donnie Croche. He pulled it out by one vote over Brian Trahan. And you can see um, the 22 folks that we had here. A lot of great uh, participants. A lot of excitement, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of votes were spread across all these different folks, but we certainly had kind of two contenders, right? And early it was Brian Trahan and then, you know, the Minnesota contingent uh, came on at the end to uh, push Donnie over the line. So uh, Donnie, I will be reaching out to you to get your email address so I can get you your $50 uh, voucher. All right. Well, that brings us to the one that everybody wants to know about. And so what I've done is I've got this. Wheel of Fortune style tool. I don't know. Uh, and I've over here put um, all the 22 names and let's give it a spin and I'll see what happens. <laughs> all right. Um, Chase Thompson, congratulations. Uh, that is amazing. Um, I literally just saw Chase <laughs> and played a game against him uh, Sunday. Uh, at the Blue City Brawl. So, uh, Chase, 
congratulations, man. I'm super excited uh, to be building you a table. Uh, and so, hurrah. So, you know, outstanding. We got three great winners. That, that was awesome. But I really want to take the time to say, hey, guys, we had amazing participation. You know, we show we only had 22 finish, but there was like almost 100 people at, at different points that have contributed to this. So uh, we will be doing another one. It will start May 1st. OK, and our basic philosophy is it's still going to run for nine months, but I think we're going to do them on a cascading basis. So the last one started in March. We're going to shift this next one to May. Right. And it'll go in two months into next year. And we'll just we'll we'll try to maintain uh, several months gap between them to give you guys a little room to breathe. So more details to come. I would not expect it to be exactly like this one. You know, I think this was great. It was grandiose. It was it was about painting tons of stuff. I think maybe we take a more eye on quality, right? Like maybe we'd slow down a little bit and it's about painting high quality paint jobs, right? Like improving our, you know, I think this showed that we can pump out a lot of models, but maybe next time we look at, you know, uh, a different facet of the game, a different facet of the hobby. So um, awesome. So that's it for me. Um, I will be making a post or by the time you're seeing this, you're probably going to already have seen the post on, uh, the Facebook page. So amazing. Uh, again, I, I I'm over the moon and just watch, you know, I would say we got Adepticon in a couple of weeks sometime in uh, after Adepticon in early April, we will lay out the next Mantic army challenge and uh, we'll go from there. So uh, have a great day. And I appreciate you guys, all guys and girls that have contributed to this and made it what it is. So thanks very much. And we will talk very soon.